Do you think it's going to go well with the Jews in the United States or anywhere else in the world? When they're trying to pass even Sharia law in the United States? I mean, come on, wake up! You know, people need to wake up what's going on. My brothers in Israel, you need to wake up. Shalom Chavrim. Uh, this is uh, Stephen Bendenum with Israel Live. And I uh, want to update you a little bit on news that is constantly coming out of Israel. And this is about the Pope's visit on May 6th, uh, which we will be there bringing that news live to you from Israel when he does arrive. Um, there is a lot of secretive meetings that are going on between the Vatican and between uh, Israeli officials. And this is why it's very important for you to be aware of this. Uh, one article here from Now the End Begins, Israeli news outlets reporting secret deal to give the, Mount, uh, the Temple Mount to the Vatican. As far-fetched as it may seem to, to some, many sober-minded news outlets in Israel in the past week have been reporting the existence of a secret deal now be, uh, being negotiated ahead of the Pope's visit to Israel in May. If true, it would be the single biggest advancement of Bible, of Bible prophecy since May 14, 1948. Interesting side note, the Pope's visit in May will coincide with the 66th anniversary of Israel's becoming a na nation again. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, and of course, when they talk about the, uh, the different uh, uh, sober-minded outlets, we have the uh, from Israel Today. Now, this was put out about five or six days ago. Uh, the report is called Vatican Presses for Control of Mount Zion. Uh, and this one here, it says Israel could be entering the final stages of negotiations to turn over control of Mount Zion to the Vatican if recent reports by Israel National News are to be believed. According to the online news source, a secretive meeting took place this week between the Jerusalem Municipality, Prime Minister's Office, Ministry of Tourism, and senior Catholic officials. During the meeting, the Catholic delegation reportedly uh, pressed Israel to follow through on a years-old proposal to give the church control over the compound that houses the traditional Hall of the Last Supper. The problem is that the same compound also houses the traditional Tomb of David, a holy site revered and frequented by religious Jews, not to mention that Mount Zion is symbolic of Jerusalem as a whole, and surrendering it to the Vatican would be seen by many Israelis as uh, repudiation of Judaism's claim to the city. Uh, in response to reports regarding the negotiations, the Jerusalem municipality re released a statement insisting that it would remain the central sovereign power of Mount Zion. Well, let me just kind of update you as we say that this is uh, Israel Live is, the, is, is a news uh, source. We're just getting this kicked off. A lot of changes being made very in the very near future on this uh, channel here. Uh, we will bring breaking news uh, when we can, but as a general rule, uh, we have set the week, uh, it'll be a weekly evening news broadcast, 7 p.m. Eastern, and it will air, and that is, uh, uh, we will be airing this news here from Sunday through Thursday, Shabbat on Friday evening and Saturdays. We will reserve more for the biblical teaching of the uh, things that are happening, but Israel Live is a news source that examines the current news in Israel uh, along with the prophetic landscape. Uh, I want to just bring to you though, what, what, are, you, what are we looking here? This, is, what, what's fascinating, this secret negotiations are going on behind the scenes to hand things over to the Vatican. And yet all along, the public is being misled to believe this is a two-state solution in order to satisfy uh, the Palestinian demands for a state of their own, uh, as if the 22 na Arab nations is not enough property for them to go live in. Uh, and as Naftali Vane brings out as well, once the Palestinians have their own state, then they're going to want to negotiate their rights in a Jewish state. So when do the Jewish people ever get a Jewish state? Let's see what God has to say about this, as I've brought out in other videos on our teaching uh, channel. Uh, Israel Returns, uh, Stephen Benin, uh YouTube channel, uh, which is where this is airing as well. So, But anyway, what do we have here in Ezekiel 35? 
Thus, uh, verse 7, uh, chapter 35, verse 7, Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. That's because all the dignitaries of the world go in and out of the Vatican. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men, and thy hills, and thy valleys, and in all thy rivers shall they uh, fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return, and you shall know that I am Hashem. And when he says that the, your nations will not return, it's because they become the head of the new world order. And we're gonna, my wife, we're gonna be doing a teaching together, some astonishing revelations on uh, the beast that rises up uh, out of the earth. Uh, the, the the first beast, uh, 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 We'll just wait. We'll get into that. Hopefully, hopefully by God's grace this weekend. I can't say for sure, but uh, we'll wait on that one there. Uh, but anyway, because thou hast said, uh, this is uh, this, this verse uh, 10 here, because thou hast said, these two nations, these two countries shall be mine. We will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. Hashem was there. The God of Israel was there. These two nations. Do you not realize that Ezekiel the prophet knew beforehand prophetically that they would divide Israel into two nations, a Palestinian state and an, Isra an Israeli state. Uh, but the thing is, notice this, and Palestinian people, notice this as well, please, because thou hast said these two nations are these two countries shall be mine. They are not going to give it to you. You are going to be ruled by the Vatican as well. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them, and I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. So when does Hashem make himself known, Mashiach, make himself known to the Jewish people? At the destruction of of the Vatican. And as I've told you before, the Vatican will be destroyed at the death of the two witnesses that come on the scene. Interesting, it's, it's fascinating, this news that is breaking here. Uh, later this evening, I will be sharing with you another prophetic insight that is going to totally floor you. Uh, it is something that happened in the Knesset today, uh, or yesterday, I'm sorry, it happened yesterday, uh, and uh, we'll be sharing that with you tonight.